Let's start off by cleansing the energy. I'll praise the most high. Thank you for gracing us with Christ conscious truth that we need to tap into for this reading. Cleanse your mind, cleanse your heart, cleanse your body, cleanse your soul. Release all doubt and let expectations go. Much love, much life to you. Breathe in. And out. Cleansing the energy. And let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Tarot with Tay. Welcome to the Tay Gang. If you've never been here before, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified every single time that I pull up, okay? I'm super excited for today's video, but before we get into the introductions and the topic, if you would like to book a personal reading, the very first link in the description box, thegoddessoftheunknown.com, is the only way that you can do that. Please do not be scammed by anyone DMing you or doing anything suspicious because I will not reach out to you um, as an individual to book a personal reading because the only way you can do so is you deciding to head on over to my website thegoddessoftheunknown.com to do so all right if you would like to donate to the channel there is a p.o box as well as a virtual tip jar always appreciated never required but it does help to motivate your girl and keep the channel growing flourishing for me and for you darling i pray that this reading brings a bit of peace love light healing clarity most importantly truth and motivation to those of you that are tuned in all right so as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about how do they feel when you enter the room and they can be just people in general or someone specific. It all depends on you and what you were thinking about when you tuned in, the energies that um, pick up on your energies in this reading. So energy to energy, let's pick up the right vibes, again letting all expectations go. And just letting the messages flow. Do not let this dictator rule your life, okay? This is just tapping into your intuition to let you know what you already know, what you've been feeling in your energetic presence, okay? So let's get into introducing the four groups of how people feel when you enter the room. Group number one is Desert Rose. Group number one, Desert Rose. Group number two is Red Carnelian. Group number two is Red Carnelian. I don't know if you can hear my neighbor's dogs howling, but yeah, that's happening right now. Group number three, we have, oh, group number three, we have Clear Quartz. Group number three, we have Clear Quartz. And group number four, I don't know the name of your crystal, if I'm being quite honest with you, but I do know that it is this very deep sage, mossy green color. So, I don't know why I want to say it starts with an A. Like, I'm literally just making that up. Like, I'm hearing, like, a ragged this is a night or some shit like that. But you know what? Honestly, let's just not give it a name. Let's not give it a label. Let's just call it group number four, okay? You can put your guesses in the comments down below, but from my experience, no one's going to agree on anything. So, what is it really, <laughs> okay? No long talking. Let's go ahead and get this ish on and pop in. Let's find out how do they feel when you walk into the room? What are their thoughts? inner dialogue, emotions, feels. Let's tap, tap, tap in. Yeah. Desert Rose, group number one. How do people feel when you walk into the room? Okay, so for some of you, you may uh, have your hair covered uh, often or sometimes, or um, and this can be like a head wrap, this can be a hat, um, this can be a lot of different things, but I feel as though you're, you, something about your hair being covered or a hat, a scarf, something along those lines. Um, when you walk into the room, you seem to be in your own world. Um, <laughs> like I'm really getting like this intense stare, like this intense gaze. Wow. Yeah, this beauty card just came out. 
You see that gaze, that stare that's coming through? Uh, I'm getting like, uh, um, <laughs> I'm hearing, it's like model face. We have mother. For some of you, you'll have a child with you most of the time. But for some reason, I'm seeing that people either wonder if you're a mother or they assume that you're a mother. There's something like about the eyes. There's something coming through here. How do people feel when you walk into the room? There's almost a shadowy energy coming through here, but I can't tell what it is. We have justice competition. Yeah, when in the end caught my eye. Beauty that will win in the end. Like, I, I don't even know if it's really like a competition going on here. But I'm definitely getting like beauty pageant. Like, when, how, people feel like when you walk into a room, it's like a competition or it's a beauty pageant or you're already winning. Yeah, the sun. Like, you just kind of demand the attention. Tsunami wake up call. There's an emotional intensity within the eyes. Perspective, exactly. And you perceive life through the eyes. Eyes are the window to the soul. There's something about whatever your eyes are drawn to, that's what everyone else's eyes eventually become drawn to. Or people wanna see the world or life from your eyes. Um, or there's this energy of like you being watched, you being examined, you being Mm, on display I'm even getting like up for auction like uh, like those things where they like auction off uh, partners for the night or something like that for charities and things like that So how do people feel when you walk into the room? How do they feel when you walk into the room is just awestruck from something about your energy, something about your beauty, something about you is just very strong um, and demands a lot of the presence in the room. Like for some of you, this is quite literally your appearance or um, your voice or your hair or your head wrap or your hat or something that kind of calls the attention communication wake up call yeah I said something about your voice but there's something about your appearance that calls people's attention and I mean with the card beauty sitting at the center of this reading I mean one could only assume yeah, and now my eyes are being drawn to fair and objective. For some of you, this is like light skin or light hair, like something, like something similar to this imagery here, but with different tones being considered. And then I'm also seeing the complete opposite of the spectrum as well. So there's so many people tuned in, but there's something about, I just heard literally stark appearance. Or even your your voice or your opinion or something that you say 
or express is a complete juxtaposition to something that you wear or something that you mm, appear to be as. This is giving like rainbows and butterflies on the outside, but there's actually depth when you, I don't know why I want to say when you coincide with communication. I don't, I don't even know. Is that even how you say that? I don't know. That's not how I would speak, but it makes me think that an extensive vocabulary is something that comes to mind. Like when you walk into the room, for some reason, people want to expand their vocabulary. Like they want to sound smarter. They want to seem more intelligent. Yeah, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. They want to be able to converse with you. I feel like your perception here, there's something about the way that you're looking at something. I don't know why I'm being brought to like a museum or just like a place where your opinion can be put on display. And it's like a simple statement like you could even be looking at a menu at a restaurant and be like hmm i didn't think that it would be a good idea to pair this with that and you happen to say that out loud and someone's like you know what i totally agree and they kind of like feed off of that like they want to try to be able to piggyback off of whatever you say or whatever you want to do or whatever direction you want to go and whatever you want to believe in like there's something about you that makes people want to follow behind you in a sense um from this mysterious beautiful yet intelligent energy that comes through here yeah stag spirit take the lead i just i didn't even pay this card any attention and i just okay whatever that's crazy it's almost as if like your beauty kind of like your beauty and then like just like that one simple thing that you say like that that thing that they latch on to for a reason to communicate with you or a reason to to speak like they're like okay i found a reason to speak i found something that i can talk about here so let's drag on with that like let, let's go forward with that like i'm nervous why the hell am i nervous okay so um when you walk into the room people get nervous for some reason okay this could be like a specific person that you're asking about or whatever the case may be um sometimes people don't even know why you make them nervous like i'm also getting like this giggly giddy feeling here okay this canary card says step forward now and sing your song there is power in finding your voice yeah so you have like this you have like this intense yellowy orange solar plexus sacral chakra intensity um just kind of like exuding off of you And now going back to the headwear, the protection um, of the energy, like I feel like there's like this mystery, this untouchable, like this, there's like this fortress around you, like this invisible shield that is impenetrable and people want to get as close to that as possible. And it's like, I don't even think they know what this shield is, like, but it's just something that's like, I can't put my finger on it. It's, it's mysterious, but it's drawing me in. And then this card says review the details carefully like it makes me want to examine it like there's something about you that is confident it says look at me i'm on display i'm ready to lead um i'm so confident in my decisions that i feel like i can help other people make decisions like it's that kind of energy that's exuding off of you and this is how people um feel uh what they think what they say what they want to do when you walk into the room and the bottom of the deck says duck find comfort and balance in simple ways you have support all around you yeah like there's something about your energy that the moment that you walk into the room people just trust you to take the lead they expect you to be the host or like they expect something of you like they even may expect like a performance out of you there's something here about like when you walk into the room you look like you're supposed to be there for a reason like you look important like you look like somebody sent you there like you're there to do something okay wow yeah and then my eyes just went to like this star and then it's like how they're examining this sword over here like this is how i see you when you walk into the room from 
the perspective of Desert Rose. All right, so this is all that I have for you, Desert Rose Group. Thank you for choosing and trusting me to be your reader. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend if you would like to. And leave love in the comment section down below. If you would like to book a personal reading, hit the very first link in the description box, thegoddessoftheunknown.com, to book your personal reading today. Um, you can donate to the channel if you would like to. There's a P.O. box as well as a virtual tip jar right below my website. But until next time, take care. Be well. Let's get into group number two. Red Carnelian, group number two, Red Carnelian. Let's find out how do people feel when you walk into the room. Okay, so immediately, for some reason, there's like this energy of overcoming something. Like there's this depth to you that immediately expresses itself that makes people feel like you've overcome something or you've been there, done that. Um, something about... A level of maturity we have envious here ah. I'm just my like, damn what did I do <laughs> I just walked in and, and now you mad what is this card? Companion. Oh my gosh. Because of your partner. Not you hating because I'm in love. Hello. What do you want me to do? You want me to unlove? You want me to get unmarried? Because you're mad? Okay, so in most cases you tend to be with your lover, your husband, your wifey, your person. And they mad. <laughs> okay we have emotional like um maybe I, i'm getting like this energy of like pda but not like sexual pda more like showing affection like they're basically they're freaking listening too hard and they hear how much y'all love each other and that makes them mad because they're eavesdropping basically this is so weird okay and if for some of you it's not a significant other it's you and your best friend it's you and your sister they're envious of some sort of relationship that you have some sort of emotional tie or connection that you have with someone they don't like it the four of swords in the reverse set aside your concerns for now yeah no they're concerned now there's something It's almost as if the very thing that they express concern for is the very thing that they're jealous about or envious of. Like, oh, I don't know if you guys should do this because da 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 da. Basically, they're just jealous. Like, I don't know why I'm getting this energy of like, they're like, oh, I don't know if you should go there because of XYZ. <coughs> yeah, my throat chakra. And um, basically, they're just jealous that you're going on vacation. The, you, you know? Yeah, the Seven of Swords, running away from the truth. Yeah, and there's something very avoidant in their energy. It like literally, as it says, uh, running away from the truth. Basically, the truth of the matter is, is that they're triggered, but they're not examining it that way. They're like blaming you, your love and your compassion for their discomfort. I don't like that this is a message that's coming out here. I really don't. We have mountain strength. So you probably get a lot of like petty vibes, energy, um, comments. Yeah, like I'm really getting this energy of like, oh, why, why you? Like, oh, why you? Like, yo, why are you mad? <laughs> why me? Why are you mad? <laughs> yeah gratitude like your blessings like really piss people off but the thing is, is that they don't know that you've made it past so much like for some of you i was i don't did i say that you could have potentially like overcome some sort of addiction like they don't know like what you had to go through in order to get to where you are where they feel like you're shining too bright 
they don't understand the transformation, the pain, the change that you had to go through. I'm seeing um, like teddy bear stuffed animals. I'm seeing the planet um, Saturn. So tough lessons. I'm seeing a giraffe um, or a koala bear or it's like a little stuffed animal. Like it's colorful, like green, pink, turquoise, blue or something like that. Um, let's continue on. I just heard PTSD. We have electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life 24. And this is number 22. Master builder, dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Oh my gosh. And we just talked about running away from the truth. So... Uh, so for some i just got this energy of the envy turning around because they kind of catch themselves like it's almost like like oh they're so annoying and then they check themselves in that same moment they're like um are you just being a bitter lonely beach like there's something about they check themselves in your energy that kind of switches things up a bit or maybe you checked them. Okay? It could go either way. Maybe you checked them. But there's some sort of quick check. But yeah, when you walk into the room, they just automatically hating on something that you've been blessed with. For some of you, like, I'm literally getting this energy of, like, um, they see your car keys. Oh, they're mad. Why are you driving a Mercedes and I'm not? <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. It's like I'm laughing, but this is not funny. This is pathetic, actually. To actually feel this way and do nothing about it and see nothing wrong with it? Nah, nah, that's a problem. Okay, and we have the crow spirit, universal laws and truths. Oh my gosh, truth, the word truth, 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 truth. Like, I feel like a broken record, like truth truth okay universal laws and truths are now being revealed use this energy to create your reality ah <sighs> okay so there's just this this double reflection of envy and love um like this shadow didn't i say a shadow was coming through did I, was that this group child i don't know I, did I say that for this group, bro? I think, damn, I don't know what group that was, but I know I said that in this video. It was either this group or the last group. But I said that there was a shadow attribute coming through. That's what it is. Like, we literally have envy in this crow here. And then this white turkey. The power to heal the earth is within you. There's something about the power within. The power within. The power within. When you walk into the room, they're, they're stressed. They're a little shook. They were chilling and now they're not because you just walked in. Because there's something about you that makes them a bit jealous. For a lot of you, it's about your partner. For a lot of you, it's your confidence without a partner. Um, or it's your confidence in your partner or your, just something. Or this is with your best friend, with your sister, your aunt, your cousin, your lover. Blah, da, 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 da. It triggers some sort of some sort of shadow in someone. But I feel as though you may be some sort of person that um, deflects energy, like um, you absorb negativity in a way that kind of like mixes in your energy, so alchemy in a way, and bounces back in a more positive light. And sometimes this automatically corrects the shadow attribute that was triggered and shines light on it to show how there can be more love um, applied to the situation to flush out the envious shadow attribute. But this, is, this takes awareness, for sure. Um, an awareness that not a lot of people possess, um, but are working up to it, okay? So, this is what wanted to come out for you group number two red carnelian um just 
Wow, I was brought to uh, Brittany, the intuitive cosmic wifey, as I was reading this uh, storyline. I didn't want to say it in the middle, but it feels appropriate to say it now. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this right here. Thank you guys so, so much for choosing and trusting me to be your reader. I pray that this reading brought a little bit of peace, love, light, healing, clarity, most importantly, truth and motivation to you. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave love in the comment section down below. Share this video with a friend if you would like to. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, the very first link in the description box, the goddess of the unknown.com is where you can do that. And to donate to the channel, we have a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar, which is right below the goddess of the unknown.com. And until next time, Red Carnelian, I'm going to get into the next group. Bye. Clear chords, clear chords. Something about you, as soon as you walk into the room, people are like, all right, let's clear the bullshit. They're like, all right, this person's not with it. Okay, what what is it? What What is this energy here? Like something just like really sobered, sobered me up. Like just, it sobered me up. It woke me up. It just did everything for me. Like I'm, I'm alert. I'm no longer a <laughs> Oh my gosh, addict in the reverse. Didn't I just say it sobered me up? Okay, so there's something about your appearance. Like, like maybe people were like laughing, like having a good time. And then like you walk into the room and they just immediately stop. Like everything gets so serious. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have shapeshifter. Wow. Wow. I'm hearing stuff and stuff. We have the chariot celebrating your accomplishments. I don't know why you're coming through as like the parents, the ops, the feds, the cops, like someone who's like you're there to they for some reason they have to make sure you're not there to like get them in trouble in some way shape or form or like get someone in trouble like you look like you are there to do something and they got to make sure it's something positive i don't uh, what is this we yeah the four of swords here like solutions that come from meditation it's coming through something's coming through okay so for some of you too there's something about like if you're in a party setting you are not drinking you are not participating in like the those kind of activities and then we have wolf instinct here like yeah there's something very serious or like standoffish on the side about you um there's also something very piercing about the eyes i you know what's crazy is that honestly i was getting like that wolf energy from the eyes here um yeah there's something about your eyes that glow like there's something like animalistic about you like when when you walk into the room like they feel like you're there to protect someone so that makes them think that there's something wrong like you're there to prevent something from happening uh what is at the back of the deck here rain purification There's some sort of like sadness um, or or deep sense of restfulness in your appearance as well, though. Like they feel safe. Longevity. Stimulation. This is Scorpio and Aries energy, so it's all Mars based, based on action. And then we have that with the chariot. People want to know what move you're about to make. Yeah, like when you walk into the room, they're like, what move are you about to make? I feel like they, they feel like it could go either way. 
cat spirit claim your independence yeah like you're like the lone wolf like that's funny how you have the cat talking about claim your independence but then we also have this wolf instinct like a, a pack leader yeah you're you're like the one who's making the choices leading the people not following someone when you walk into the room they want to know what you are responsible for or what you are known for for some reason i'm being brought to like soccer and then we have hawk spirit let spirit be your guide the number 32. yeah i don't know why i'm getting something about like well respected right now something about like something about like a well-respected doctor athlete something like this what can we add here but there's just something very serious about your energy like and most likely you're wearing black or like this is giving like uh tall dark and handsome and mysterious kind of vibes okay um and i just got this energy of like cupid like i just been struck with the with the arrow so people are also very attracted to you when you first walk in they also want to know what's your type who are you attracted to like who piques your interest because you seem very aloof disinterested um so people want to know like what are you into <laughs> like i'm seeing people like twirling their fingers in their hair like what are you into you know uh, we have hummingbird <laughs> release what you've been carrying and lighten up new joys on the way see yeah like okay so i feel like this group is like pretty serious okay i just heard gung-ho like you you have a goal and you focus on it you're not you're not with the foo-foo lame shiz okay um but i feel like you attract like really frilly like somewhat like annoying people but i think that you consider them cute um sometimes it's like certain ones okay like because remember i said when this came out it was like cut the bs i get this energy of like like oh chill out mr serious or like mrs tough gal like i don't know it's like this we want to loosen you up like stop being so serious have a good time we have crane you will soon enter into a beneficial partnership luck and longevity bless this union yeah like didn't i just say like yeah you attract like i feel like you may be um about to attract like an opposite yeah the chariot that's literally like the the yin the yang energy like attracting the opposite but yeah because you literally have the wolf and the cat and they're both leaders um and they're both independent the cat is more of a loner energy i guess you could say this is giving me the feminine energy yeah this is the femme and this is a masculine okay so there's some uh yin yang twin flame whatever the f you want to call it like your perfect match energy coming through right now um so this makes me feel like people feel like you could be their perfect match you may have a lot of those people like oh like the yin to my yang or the yang to my yin whatever whatever way it goes um partner in crime kind of energy here something very complete opposite about you and the people that view you this way but there's something that they feel would mend really well or they feel like what could make you guys mend really well okay um and again with this crane here i feel like this is a side message like for something that you can be um expecting to come up soon is like a long lasting uh friendship connection and with addict here in the reverse this lets me know that this is um a healthy connection like interdependent as opposed to codependent meaning both parties are independent but assist each other equally in whatever way equal means to each party in this connection okay so um yeah this is what wanted to come through for when you first walk into the room people just really want to know like what are you on like first they're kind of scared and then they're like yo i want to know this person i want to break the ice with this person i want to make this person i want to be the reason why this person smiles or why this person like this person cracks like there's something about like 
wanting your approval or wanting to get a smile or a response or something out of you you might get people that want to like buy you drinks or like dance with you or like just do these random things whenever you're out um or like offer you free things or something like that i get that kind of energy here it's because they're trying to see what will make you respond yeah like there's this this un this disinterested kind of energy that comes through here detached disinterested and you know that just draws people into you even more okay so i'm gonna go ahead and leave this reading right here thank you so so much clear course give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy leave love in the comment section down below share this video with a friend and if you would like to book a personal reading at the very first link in the description box the goddess of the unknown.com and then you can go ahead and if you would like to donate to the channel there is a p.o box as well as a virtual tip jar linked right below the goddess of the unknown.com all right now let's go ahead and follow up into the next group see ya clear court group number four how do people feel when you walk into the room group number four how do people feel when you walk into the room there's this sense of maturity here and i'm getting emotional energetic maturity more than anything like something about your energy is so clean so crisp there's something about prominent air placements in your chart we have shadow self you could have a significant um mercury placement near scorpio i'm getting eighth house 10th house 12th house energy pure heart wow wow shadow self and pure heart i didn't take two cards for everyone else but i'm gonna i'm gonna do it because wow what's at the bottom of the deck here oh so this one yeah hottie This is like immediately having naughty thoughts as soon as you walk into the room, but then cleaning up those thoughts, but still meaning those thoughts, okay? It's something about immediately jumping to like sexual dirty thoughts but then cleaning it up like but i actually think highly of this person like there's this like yeah i know i just said that i would bleep 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 them over the balcony but then i would also marry them you know like it's something like that we have hottie here like i just i the, i was caught off guard by their appearance you know like it's 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 something like that coming through here we have the two of spring yeah like i got a i got ahead of myself okay um, we have partnering with others who share your dreams. I feel like this is still unfolding, but there's definitely like this yin and yang energy that's above all. Okay, we have like this white and this black and then we have the, the two over here. But I'm going to keep going. And then we have the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. A weight lifted off of your shoulders. Yeah, like... Okay, so for a lot of you, I'm getting that this is uh, like in the workplace. In the workplace, you're like the, the eye candy, the yeah, the thing that they need to like get them through the day. Let's see. There's like this fun flirtatious energy that comes through with you. Yeah, love, compassion. music harmony like music to my ears something about your energy just makes everything get so damn serious like why you got so serious you yeah, have emotion okay so for some of you there's something about like heavy emphasis on like acting or love a home i 
Ah, showing gratitude that this is exactly what I prayed for when you walk into the room. Like, and for some people, this is like really dramatic. Okay, for some, this is like literally like I'm saying, just the the eye candy that I needed at work. For some people, this is like literally you being the the plumber that they need to fix their their piping issue whatever I don't know in other cases this is like the exact spouse that I prayed for so yeah for some reason I'm getting this energy like about your partner like you coming home to your spouse is the kind of energy that I'm picking up on right now We have bring a gentle touch. Yeah, exactly what I prayed for in this dark time. You are the light. You bring the gentle touch. Let's get an extra animal oracle card. I'm really getting this energy too of like someone who needs like help with a tire and you happen to be like the rescuer flamingo spirit embrace the in-between um I'm getting something about synchronicities something about synchronicities this and that are true with the dolphin yeah, like this is really coming through as like the pure light that they need in their darkest hour, in their darkest day. Like there's something about you, like your energy, like you walking into the room, there's something about this entrance. Maybe you say something upon entry or you have on something upon entry or there's something upon entry that uh, kind of gives like this angelic glow and wings and a halo effect. Um, when you walk through uh because music is at the bottom of the deck it could be uh literally about your uh i was going to say about your ears okay but i meant to say about your voice and the way that it sounds to people okay I just want to get like extra of everything for you guys. Yeah, there's something like we want to we want to go over the top for you. For some reason, we want to go over the top for you. There's something here like people want to cater to you. People want to serve you when you walk in. Like they want to serve you. They want to assist you. Like, oh, can I help you? Can I da 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 da? There's something that like takes over and they just want to help. We have flicker. New rhythms are coming into your life now. You are encouraged to trust and adapt. For a lot of you, this may be um, news to you. You may not recognize this energy yet, but I see that this is what is coming onto you, okay? So you may notice that people kind of want to assist you more often. And you're going to be like, yo, like this is odd. This is peculiar, but very necessary. So I'm grateful. Um, we have pelican. Choose to follow the path of forgiveness and raise your vibration. You may even find yourself wanting to assist people that probably don't deserve your assistance or any other time you would feel as though they don't deserve your assistance. I don't know, but you just, you do it anyway. There's something about this, doing it anyway. And then we have pheasant. The time is ripe for creation and connection. Focus your attention in these areas. bottom of the deck we have duck find comfort and balance in simple ways you have support all around you exactly like there's this empress energy that's like exuding off of you like i don't know for some of you it's like this energy of you you seem like you've gone through so much you fought so hard to get to this point now we want to cater to you now we want to give to you um for some of you this is like just your essence as a whole just makes people want to cater to you whether you look like you've been through it or not there's just something about like i want to cater to you there's this catering energy okay so 
this is what wanted to come through when you walk into the room people want to give to you they want to help you they want to assist you or they feel like this is what you are to them or maybe because you were this to them they want to return the favor however it goes but it's just really about um this light-hearted open energy that wants to assist that wants to cater to um so you might notice like when you walk into stores people are like oh can i help you da, 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 da. like it's genuinely coming from a place where they want to really help okay um very interesting the way that this this reading played out much love much life to you thank you so so much for choosing and trusting me to be your reader give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy leave love in the comment section down below share this video with a friend if you would like to and hit the very first link in the description box the goddess of the unknown.com to book your personal reading today and if you would like to donate to the channel there is a p.o box as well as a virtual tip jar right below that but until next time take care of you all see you next time bye group four mm -hmm.